Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am in the gondola on my way up for track walk. I am back racing, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's taken a little while, but uh, if I'm going to do an event throughout the year, it's probably going to be this one, and this one's going to be extra, extra special. So I am going out for track walk on the new 1199 Canadian Open downhill track here in Creekside, Whistler. 1199 is the, well, I believe, the total amount of points that Stevie Smith had when he won the World Cup overall. Stevie was a really good teammate of mine. Um, I was very uh, lucky to be teammates with him, and for him to take me, to take me under his wing and kind of teach me and coach me as a young rider uh, was very special. And uh, yeah, he's very, very greatly missed. So this track is basically built in memory of him. It is. I've already seen what the track looks like, but it is basically 100%. I feel like what you would excel at. Um, so we're going to head up the hill. I'm going to take a look and take you down on track walk. Never really done a track walk video before, um, but yeah, we may as well see what we're going to get myself into. Then we have practice day tomorrow, uh, so stay tuned for all that. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Excited to be back with the race videos. Let's get up there and check out this absolute monster of a downhill racetrack. So this right here is the finish line. You can see the big ski slope in piste and the finish line. This ram already set up. Look at that for a finish. Jump, big sprint into the field. Nice, proper start ramp. So we are at the top. Long live chainsaw. Miss you, bud. Let's go. So, already straight out of the start, and you're already into the softest, loamiest stuff going into the first rock slab. Tons of grip to be had, but it's telling yourself that, that when you hit that compression, you've got grip. First couple routes, real rough. First drop, it's concrete. Damn, this is like, reminds me of Val de Sol uh, 2010, when it was like soft and loamy. And come up here, I think, bit of line choice. Yeah. Coming up to the first row crossing. Got a steep bit here. Super nice. Important to get that. Really good. Look at the size of these. Big rocks. Drop off after the first road. Maybe over the stump. Right there and then as close to this tree as possible. But, oh, so much chunk here already. Really hard to do it justice on the camera, especially with um, the patchy light. But this is a first mega steep shoot. Super gnarly, rooty, steep shoot here. I'll show you what we'll be riding over. All this. So this is all big chunk and then to, into this sweet catch berm right here ton of roots here so yeah this track um is basically from what i overheard is for a world cup here hopefully next year um which would be insane and they put in a lot of work so you can see why it's so far world cup-esque very steep first little shark fin jump up here if you can jump, land, stay high up there, it would be sweet. Drop. Ay -ay -ay. So from here, down to there. Nice running. Looks like it's really just a little pop. So we're coming to the first major features. I'm a little bit unsure here. It's a nice, well, terrible actually, right, uh, left-hander here. Big holes and a nice right hander there. There's a drop up there, but there's options here to go inside where people have been going. That's going to get really blown out, as you can, in fact, saying that it's already really blown out. But this could be nice inside. Hold it, hit the berm. You could still go inside here, but you need all the speed you can get because see that platform right there, monster. 
I watched a podcast with Bernard Kerr recently, and uh, he said the World Cup lacks jumps and features, and I agree. And I think that this here is rather large, but uh, I think it would be right up his street. So this is a biggie. I don't know how big. 30 plus foot, 36 foot, 35 feet maybe. Quite the drop down there. So yeah, there she is. After that step down, big pump. Then you've got a triple here, which is actually pretty big. Option to double up it. But yeah, it's like over there. Got a brief pedal here. Get your breath back before the next part of NAR starts. Quick little gap into the forest. A lot of timing here. There's a lot of holes and a lot of compressions. You definitely don't want to be down in there because it's a bit of an uphill. This rock over all these roots. And then we have a right here like a step up off this little lip that I'm on right now. Up onto this little platform. So it's important to get that good speed out of there to make that nice berm. It's like it's this is been watered. That is because they're watering down there. <laughs> um, which is good. Oh yeah. A couple cushy berms. It's a nice berm that looks like you could really really slap tons of support. And then uh, obviously got that bit of wood down there. So the reason they have so much support in that berm is because of this right here which is feature number two and this is this is this is pretty large you can really afford to go really far but it's from here way down there wow but they're putting some work though look at all this into that it's so cool to see look how far away that is bit of water in needs it Triple, you can double, you can triple, but you gotta have the speed to triple for sure. That's like a proper highway. This is what World Cup needs. None of this Leo gang, same stuff every year crap. Another triple here, fair size. These are big boys. It's gonna be tough too into the sun. But I'll just have to pull. I feel like first lap will probably just try everything to be honest. Get it out of the way. Uh, land this last triple here, and then we're into the woods. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be insane, insanely blown. It reminds me of Valdesol. All this, you can see, like how low me that is. Some bits are hard pack, I think, to get from one bit to the next. Probably a bit of water running here, so they had to make this hard pack. But drainage, a rocky section here. Tons of compressions, that's the thing here. You want to try and avoid them as much as you can. Up high here, over that rock. Big boulders just chilling. It's definitely um, going to be probably, I'd say, one of the most challenging tracks. Um, if the some of the World Cup guys are racing this this weekend, I think it'll be the most challenging track that they'll hit all year. In my opinion, but also I've done a lot of the World Cup tracks and I know what's what and I know what they're like, so to see this like this is insane. Um, I also think that bike setup is going to be insanely, insanely important. Um, I don't really have much of a clue because the Olin stuff for me is so fresh and new, but um, we'll give it our best shot. I'm just taking part here to, to for pure fun really and I want to have a good time and I'm not going to push the limit either just because I mean I'm not really a racer anymore so there's not nothing to risk anything for but uh, yeah to get some cool content is going to be going to be the thing I'm just looking at a line here the main line is going to be super super rough and if you could get like this main line here if you could get left or I've just seen actually you can hop over this rock hop off this over that huh. that makes sense all loam, it's all, all loam. I don't think there's really anything hard pack. 
apart from the bits that you need to speed for the jumps. A couple road crossings into a berm. It's so wide too, that's what I really like about this track is how there's line choice. I feel like in World Cups, World Cups, sorry, it's a lot of it can be one line. Um, but I like here, there's like an inside and like there's a berm. At least got like 30 foot to move around, which is sick. I can't believe how deep it is already. Coming up to probably the steepest rocky shoot, or the first steepest shoot so far. Pretty gnarly. There we go, there's a bit of justice. That was a big drop. But you've got a nice hard packed berm to catch you into another huge multi line choice section. Really rough. They've even watered it down here. I mean, this is with some riders on it already that have been testing it out. This is not how many riders, I don't know, a lot, but oh, it's going to be, it's going to be destroyed. Got a couple lines here. Main line looks like everyone's been going there, but up wide, really untouched, probably because it is quite difficult to get into. Look how wide that, look how wide this is. Madness. I'm actually super blown away at how wide this track is and like the, the variety of line choice and like options and... Wait, it's downhills. Downhill World Cup could be saved by this track. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so much room. So much room to move around in. We have one of the first features that I will be scared of. Go drop right here. One cool thing, actually. I think I could show. Possibly, somehow. Also. They have a water hose, I think, going down the whole, I think the whole of the mountain. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. I thought the descent, I'll zoom in a bit. Over there is a helipad for the helicopter to land in. So this is like halfway down the, down the track, I guess, almost. And uh, they've got a helipad there because the next section is so steep, it would be difficult um, to really like access anywhere. And there's a clearing right there on a the platform. So pretty cool to uh, see that, that they're putting those measures in uh, for safety and for us as riders. Which is cool to see. So we have the chicken line here. Down the side. And then we have a meaty drop into a rock slab. Like, I don't know if this is doing any justice, but... And there's a huge hole at the end. So you're taking off from there, landing on this rock slab. That is... That would be very difficult to walk up. Then we have a little bit of a climb here. Which is... Okay. But not great. <laughs> this is cool. Someone said, told me about this, is that this cliff here, they have hook points. So if someone hurts themselves, they can hook them and get them up there because it's almost impossible to get up either way. And this is a faster way. So I think that's really, really cool that they're testing this out and seeing how, well, hopefully they don't have to test it out, but you know what I mean? Definitely taking the right measures. And then we're in two, which will be the gnarliest part off the whole mountain. Wait till you see down here. So this section here has to be one of the most intimidating things that I have seen in quite some time. Very gnarly rock garden here. Yeah, I'm not really sure on the route yet. Hmm. Another view of it. So yeah, it's going to be, I wonder if you could come down low. Low is going to be probably one of the most used lines, I think, but I don't see why being up here would be that great. Straight through here, round, and then nice and straight for the next section. The middle might be the most used, I could be wrong, but survival mode for me. <laughs> so down here, it's just a minefield, there's stuff everywhere. Trying to show you as much of the track as possible, but without it dragging on too long, so I'm going to cut the clips up and stuff, but... This is the first preview, really, the first proper, like, I'm the first person on track walk right now, so get this out and you can all see this, but... Um, yeah, I'm intimidated. <laughs> This here is just straight line, rapid. Can be some big breaking bumps down here too. So at the end of this fast straight, hard on the anchors, up high here, super steep, and a real janky left-hander. And then here, don't know what I'm gonna do here. If you come out of this suite, you could possibly come out here out wide. Uh, if you can sneak inside, great, but if not, there's a nice catch berm at the bottom there. Catch berm into what's gonna be an insanely rough entrance to huge berm with a massive uh, a bit of support in it. 
you've got all the nice speed you've got the option to go up this rock here which has been built um, very nice very rough as well could get out of control quite easily having a nice berm here at the bottom of this big steep shoe which is in the right place and then I feel like guys are going to be coming out of this corner here and gapping over so you don't get bucked whereas me I'll probably just be rolling rocky but sniper kind of tight one line Watch over the crash pad don't catch yourself on that for all these routes carry speed is important to carry speed here like when I mean important I mean extremely extremely important because as you can see chicken route and we have the next drop here oh. nice how it's flat and then there's a bit of a kick another step down pretty big isn't it I mean I'm probably on this the sweet spot is probably here this track reminds me of, like when I walk it, I'm kind of like, it's the same feeling as when I walked Hardline. Like, quite intimidating, there's not really much room to chill, there's no room for error. And uh, this is exactly that, so, um, yeah, it's big. Just had a mega mental moment there. Just been like, God, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> Where I'm walking. Even if you could be up there. Because the next bit is wild. I know where I want to go, but I don't know if it'll be possible by the time the race comes around, but... We'll see how it turns out, but yeah, you want to come straight. It's kind of like a gap here. But after it's so many routes and stuff, Anyway, you need all the speed you can get around this absolute ripper of a corner, which is going to ride unreal because there's a meaty tabletop straight after it. And then we have a pretty decent sized tabletop right here. It's deep enough to, it's a bit of a mission to walk up. So we've got a little bit of a sprint here after the tabletop. Along here, you'll be carrying <coughs> plenty of speed, so it shouldn't be too hard. For me, though, I'll be breathing up my ass into the final section here. I think it's going to come up here. That's cool. So when you exit the woods, we're into some, which is some old school kind of corners here, which is actually really cool to see. Off camber up here. This is nice because there's nothing on the track that's really like this. So um, you're going to want to swing out wide. It's like kind of old school Leger vibes going on here. It'll be a bit of trial and error, I think. First run, do it really slow. Second run, hopefully a bit faster. Thread the needle. Man, there's a lot of stumps here. It's gonna come out. Ton of stumps around here. Could be kind of nice to slow down a ton and maybe, maybe, maybe come inside. Straight out of the woods, little straight section here before we hit probably one of the coolest features that I've ever seen at an event. Big wall right here berm anyway. Shark fin. Squash that. Get your speed tuck on. Sprint to the line, whatever you want. It's right there under the barrier, Cranworth barrier. This is actually where they had the 2010 Winter Olympics, I believe. And there's something someone mentioned to me about the timing system here. It's like worth millions and millions and they're using it. Um, it's all under under the ground or under the, the piste. And they're using that for the timing system, which is pretty impressive. So that is it for track walk here on the 1199 Stevie Smith track for the Canadian Open Downhill this coming weekend. Insane, very intimidating, no time to mess up, full concentration, full attack for me, half attack because I want to make it out alive. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below current state of downhill world cup tracks is this the start of something that people will start you know or uh, locations will start you know taking notes and being like we should have a track like that maybe so and that is a bear poo <laughs>
make sure you give the video a like if you love the look of the track and also if you're excited for practice video coming the only unfortunate thing is I don't think I can film in race runs but I'd, I'm not even going to get that far ahead and say yeah I'm going to make it to race runs because of my ankle so we'll play it by ear um, and see how it goes but thanks for tuning in peace out love you all see you later